know, it's only fair that we go to Chile. Uh, women don't want no scrubs, yes or no? No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. I wrote a song about it. A lie detector said, that is a lie. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and today we're going to be taking a look at Chili from TLC, would you date down? Basically asking her, would she date down, you know, in a man? So let's take a look. Having a great time here, and right now uh, we're talking about would you ever date down? I've never heard this expression, but we are going toe to toe on, based on this unscientific survey, the, the dating service called It's Just Lunch. So we're clear. Sure uh, it is, by we, the way. We managed to make it through the entire run without ever doing a scientific survey, so that's yeah. good. Science has no place on daytime. Absolutely not. Right. So we're clear. Uh, um, and that it could be a, a total deal, deal breaker. Okay, on the other hand, uh, apparently 68% so we're clear. Uh, this, anyway, this survey, this very unscientific study, found that 79% of women said that the person that they're dating makes significantly less money. If they do, it's not going to work, um, and that it could be a, a total deal, deal breaker. Okay, on the other hand, uh, apparently 68% of men, two-thirds, say they are fine with women making less than they do, even if, well, the women don't want no scrubs. Ah. Uh I would be interested to find out how many men would be okay if the woman makes more. And I think for some men it would be okay. I think the issue is, I think for a lot of men it'd be okay, but the issue is a lot of times women hold it, would hold it over the man's head so he wouldn't feel like he was the head of the household. They wouldn't know how to still be submissive and make more money. And that seems to be the issue. But you guys let me know. You're, I'm, not, I'm not a man, so I, I don't know. But they didn't do the reverse of it, so I, that, I think that would have been a little bit better. It's only fair that we go to Chile. Uh, women don't want no scrubs, yes or no? No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. I wrote a song about it. A lie detector said, that is a lie. She did not write no scrubs. Let's get to it. Actually, look this up. Um, let's see. Who wrote scrubs? Lisa Lopez, Candy Burris, Tamika Cottle, who is tiny, married to T.I., and this other gentleman, Kevin Shakespeare Briggs. I don't know who that is, but I don't see Chili's name on here at all. So why lie about something that was we could easily find out by a quick internet search? Just, um, hey, you know, there's hmm. nothing wrong with riding passenger side of your best friend's ride. <laughs> I don't have a car. <laughs> Your side and you're trying to talk to a female as if it were your ride. Oh, I, I, do, I, do, I do that. I go like this. Turn down our radio. I'm trying right. to talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> That's my life. So what? <laughs> have, you, Sherrod, have you have you done it? What dated down? Up. Oh, dated uh. up. Everything's up from where I'm standing. <laughs> It's sad that he has to sit there and make these jokes about it. And she could be like, if you're sitting on your passenger side, then I'm sorry and pretend like it's your ride. How is he pretending it's his car if he's sitting in the passenger side? Or why are you so, like, what makes you so entitled that you, you that just shows how shallow you are, that he has to be in the driver's seat. I mean, it's just so, I don't know. I like that school. I mean, I like that song when I was in high school, middle school. I can't remember when it was. And it was fun at the time, but now that I think about it, it's like, it's so shallow. It's so, I mean, and it's just a song, so I'm not going to take it that serious. But the attitude behind it is like, you're sitting on the passenger side. I can't get with you. I want the one driving. But you don't think about what that says about you. You don't know anything about this. The man who's in the passenger side could have more money. Could, or, or, what, or be a better character, better quality. It would be a good man, a good husband, good father. The dude in the ride could be a player. But see, that doesn't matter because you want money. You want status. You want clout. You want looks. You want the sisterhood to give you an amen and a high five. How is that a good detector of a man's quality? Because he's in the passenger side of a car. Now, I know your girl's going too deep on a basic song. Okay, I get it. But it's because of the segment. I'm done preaching. keep my girl confused because I'm on TV so much. She's like, he got to be making money, right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's confused. Meanwhile, for you, what how did you like go about finding a man given It's got to be hard to date Chili. Like. It's got to be, that's a lot of pressure on a dude, right? Well, I mean, if you even saw my show, what Chili wants, it was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I actually want to be a, that's a lot of pressure on a dude a man given it's gotta be hard to date. I had to rewind look at her face she's like you better not say something I don't like or I'm ready to rip into you look how much attitude I don't know her personally but just the way this comes off her lying about her writing a song her looking like this I ain't got no problems with her, but I just, it just doesn't come off as humble. It comes off of a lot of pride and ego and a lot of attitude. And what he's saying is it's a lot of work to date you. That's not a uh, compliment. I think a lot of women see that. They think I'm very difficult to, to date or it's hard for a man to meet on my level. So, you know, for him to get to my level, he's got to be up here. But a lot of times men will go for the easier option, the younger option, the one that is not that work. Being work is not a prize. It's not something people look for, forward to. And I think people think whatever is hard to get, you know, you really value. If there's something that's too easy, you don't. That is not, but having attitude and being difficult to deal with is not playing hard to get. It's not being, showing yourself to be a valuable prize. There's better ways. There's, in fact, this is, there's uh, the correct way to do this. But just that, that attitude and that look as though, Anything you say, I'm fitting to go off. It's just, it's just, it just, it feels, you just don't feel good being around that or being around that kind of energy. Date Chili, it's gotta be, that's a lot of pressure on a dude, right? Well, I mean, if you even saw my show, What Chili Wants, it was, yeah, <laughs> it was difficult. I mean, I am very picky. Right. And uh, I think everybody should be, you know, but um, here's my issue with the, Sorry, I gotta say this again. She is a beautiful superstar, and she's been a superstar since she was a teenager, telling average women, she's saying everybody, but she's talking to women, let's be honest. She's telling average women who do not look like her, who are not her size, who are not, you know, uh, superstars, gifted with, you know, having the clout and all the things that she's been gifted by, gifted with by God, they don't have the same things. And you, she's telling Shirley and them down at the Piggly Wiggly to be picky. And see, Shirley's gonna take that and say, oh, for me to be like Chili, I'm gonna be picky. And a lot of times those women are taking this advice from women who are superstars. They don't live in reality. They don't live where the average woman works. Even attractive women who are just normal women do not live a superstar lifestyle where they can just be picky. And by having that kind of, you know, just picky just to be be picky and see, this is wrong advice. And guys, again, my screen is, is flickering. I think I figured out the fix, but right now it's just gonna look like this. But it's like, they don't, you know, to say that to, to a person like her or for her to tell average women this, is incorrect and we've got to, you know, she's just saying what she knows. That's her life. She can afford to be picky. We can't, okay? Life is short for us. If you want to get married and have children, you, you, you know, there is things about, there's, there's a, a point of being picky and then there's a point of actually saying, making a list that's reasonable and not just eliminating dudes based off of, we're talking about the scrubs, if she's talking about picky, picky means because he's in the passenger side of his car, of his friend's car. So that alone should eliminate a man right away because he's in the passenger side of a car. If we're talking about a list like this, I did a video with Steve Harvey, had a woman on there. She had probably 50 things on a list of things she was picky about. And this reminds me of that nitpicking on things that really have no lasting quality. Um, it makes you full of pride, ego, and delusion. And then when you hit the wall or into no man's land, you're saying, where do all the good men go? And then you become auntie status Listen, I'm 40, so I'm not, I'm not knocking on anybody. But you become auntie says, and you're telling young women that, to be picky or regular women, and then you look around and say, Did, you know, this is this is not how an average woman is going to succeed in life. It is it is going to leave her um, in a bad predicament. But you know, what do I know? I'm not a superstar, so I'm capping. I'm hating. I guess you want to call it dating down. I hate that. I do too. I'm not comfortable with that term. It sounds bad. It makes sounds us mean. seem shallow. Let's just talk about scrubs. Yeah. That's Look, I saw okay. your show, The chill, problem with dating. Okay. What are you about to say? I'm just saying. Don't I don't like have... I will take my shoes off and <laughs> oh, oh, get on this I'm table. Just, I'm just saying. Please do. Please do it. Please. It's our last show.
You see this? She can get away with threatening violence and everybody plays it as funny. She's going to take her shoe off and stand on this table. Do you see that? If she's put on this kind of attitude on this show and it's laughed and kikied and it's so cute and so funny, but if a man was to do this in this way, like, it's just, I get it. It's just a new segment. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it just feels like, okay. Like, like she going to take her shoe off. The guy barely said anything. He's been nice, joking, having fun. I don't know. Maybe they know each other and she doesn't really like him in person. Maybe I'm off. Uh, you guys let me know. But this much, ad this much heat and attitude? Nah, that's a miss for me, sis. <laughs> okay, I'll come over there. I'm just saying, I don't have the most money. I don't have, like, gold forks and knives like Floyd Mayweather Jr. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, what I, I think that... For a female, no matter how much money you make or not, every woman wants to feel like a princess, you know? And I think that, like, I don't look for a guy to pay my bills. Obviously, I can pay my own bills. I can do Amen. a lot of things for myself, and thank God I'm, I've been blessed. Right. But I would love to be, you know, go on a date with the guy, and he pay for it, and or if we plan a trip together. You know, if I have to pay half, then I need to go on that on that trip with my girlfriend, not a dude. Like, okay. no. I agree. Look, I would. Oh my gosh, is she serious right now? Every woman wants to be treated like a princess. I don't. I mean, that's just like, how old are you? Like, you want to be treated like a princess? You grown, sus. Those are fairy tales. Those are for, that's for little children. And even I think little, I think when they get into later elementary, middle school, they don't even, they know that, that, that it isn't real. There's requirements and duties and honor with living with a princess. Also being a princess, a lot of times you married the man that your father chose. You married into another family. See, people want the benefits. They like these, 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 these everescent titles, these titles that feel grand or princess and queen and diva and boss and all these things but you don't understand anything that goes behind it like every woman does not want to be treated like a princess but a lot of entitled women want to be a lot of pride ego really having it backwards thinking that you you should be this this princess in this prize that the average woman that's just working at, in retail as a cashier is is not she can't have her expectations that she's some princess and be treated like a, a prize. She's an average woman, woman working in custom service, woman working, uh, you know, as a bank teller, woman working as a dog walker. Like this is this is ludicrous to think that you can be treated as a princess, this mentality. And she's saying that she he has to um, if she's paying half, she's got to go with her girlfriend. And see, this this is the. It's not that someone don't mind paying, but it's the entitlement, the thought that if you pay half, if I pay half, how dare, I mean, I might as well go with friends. And then we don't think as women how this looks to men. We don't. And then, I mean, she's tripping. Ooh, Lord. Pay for it. I mean, I'm just saying. No, you ain't right, crowd. Look at me. Look at the host, the host, the lady, she like, she like, she was trying to get all the women to back her, the sisterhood to back her up. But the host is like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> look at, look at her. And Chili's like getting everybody, they can see the attitude, this diva, this diva presence. And she, but she's the prize, you know, I mean, women will, we will go to our grave, but we are some prize. And I'm not saying, and this is the thing I have to say, it's not that men don't do things wrong, but no one's calling us out. Like this is, this is insane. And these superstars, these celebrities who think, who want to give advice to average women that is not based in reality. It's based on your privileged lifestyle, your privileged looks, your privileged, uh, you know, everything. You you don't know what it's like to be a normal person. I mean, you've been a superstar since you were a teenager. I mean, just, just stop the cap. Everybody, there is a new TLC album and a TLC biopic coming so Anyway, guys, I like TLC. I like I, I like Chili's music, but her advice on here is, I mean, what she's talking about is more of what we see 
now we see it more and more because of TikTok and all the things, social media. This was 2012 when this came out, so we didn't have as much as that. We didn't really have that at all. I mean, a little bit, but not like we have it today. And now we can see where we would get glimpses of like that, of things like this in the media, songs and, and, and whatnot. But now this is like mainstream. This is the mentality. There's a whole generation now that's been bred and, and weaned all, all on this type of attitude. And the problem is it's not getting us the results that we want. You are not a princess until you study, you, you study royal culture and you want to abide by the laws and rules that a princess has to, you see, you, you want all the benefits, but you don't want to actually have to do the work or the payoff. You're not a princess. You were not born into a royal bloodline. You should be treated well. You should be treated with respect. You should be expect love and respect in relationship. But a princess attitude is nothing but entitlement and pride comes before the fall. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure you check me out in the links on the screen, links below everywhere. And also subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.